Our first set of three players is Devontae Parker. His current average draft position is 72 overall. Brandon Cooks going at 74th. And Ronald Jones going at 76th. Uh, Who would you keep? Who would you trade? And who would you cut? So this totally depends on what you've done in the first five or so rounds and and who you're sitting there with because if you've gone running back heavy uh well hold on then Then for argument's sake what i want to do is this so this is uh mid 60s so this is the what then sixth round mid 70s mid 70s i'm sorry mid 70s so this is the seventh round or sixth round what is that uh beginning to mid sixth or seventh so say you've gone Be- beginning of round six, beginning of round six. I mean, look at me doing math. So Don't worry, uh, I pulled up a calculator too. Yeah. Devante Parker's going 72 ADP. That's, that's literally the start of round six. Gotcha. All right. So then, so you've picked five people. Assume it's uh, two of two running backs, two wide receivers, and either a kicker or tight end. So assume you're even, I guess, at kicker, at uh, running back and wide receiver, not kicker. Assume you're even at running back <laughs> and wide receiver, and you don't have a huge need for either. So you're even in need, and it's really not based so much on on uh, team comp. You have your RB1 and RB2, your wide receiver 1 and wide receiver, wide receiver 2s already. So based totally on fair. that, who would you take out of these yeah, two? So- Again, Devontae Parker, Brandon Cooks, Ronald Jones. Um, in my personal rankings, I literally have all three of these guys right next to each other. Uh, Parker, I have at 49, Cooks at 50, and Rojo at 51. Um, and I, I think after looking at this, I need to do a little bit of moving around. Um, so I just to start on this, I, I'm cutting Devontae Parker. And the reason for that is because he's only really done it one year. It took him five years to actually put out a productive season. Uh, we don't know who the quarterback is in Miami. Um, and to go along with that, we don't know really what their offense is going to look like now that they improved on the defensive side of the ball. And they have Jordan Howard and the bread man, Matt Brida. Um, so they they should not be playing from behind quite as much, I wouldn't think, as as they did last year. And Fitzpatrick just started airing it out to Parker and Gesicki and Preston Williams or whoever else they, they were throwing to. So I, I think because of that, Parker's going to dip at least a little bit. And so of these three guys, I feel like he's the most unknown. Um, And then, so for me, it really comes down to Brandon cooks and Ronald Jones. Um, And we've talked a ton about Ronald Jones, but there's just some stuff that came out in the last day that Bruce Arians, and this is a direct quote. uh, Rojo is the main guy. He'll carry the load. All those other guys are fighting for roles for who goes second when he gets tired. Maybe who's the third down guy, but they're all fighting for a role and special teams will have a lot to do with that. And that's in reference to Keyshawn Vaughn and and Shady McCoy. So if, if Ronald Jones is going to be the, like the main guy in that explosive offense, um, I would take Ronald Jones um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep Ronald Jones. I'm going to trade Brandon cooks, um, just cause he's the second guy that I would take there. And also a little bit because of the injury history and him changing offenses. And then I'm, I'm cutting Devonte Parker, um, which is actually the opposite of the way I have them ranked. So I, I need to do some changes. There you go. All right. I'm going to agree and disagree, uh, with the, with the news coming out, what yesterday today on Ronald Jones, basically carrying the load this season i think it really makes it very hard for ronald jones not to be the keep here uh especially in the sixth seventh round value that he's currently being drafted at um we did a for anybody that doesn't know we did uh like a up-and-coming podcasters league uh we're we're a part of one i should say and the draft was last night and in that draft ronald jones whose adp is currently 76th which is what early seventh uh, went got drafted at 60, 62nd overall, which is the second pick in the sixth round. So he's he's already climbing, um, and so like I think it's going to keep going upwards. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up getting drafted in like the fourth or fifth by the time season starts. Like because I think we're just starting to see the ADPs rise. 
And if right, he's a, which is if he's which a three is where back, I've had him from the get go. And Bruce we Arians have had a, yeah, like it may, all right, fine. You had a podcast. You had like a two podcast head start on me. He's my guy. Yeah. Nobody listened to the top rookies first podcast episode where I argued <laughs> where I argued Keyshawn Vaughn was going to break out. It's not going to happen. I was wrong. I admit it. The facts change, and you can change your opinion after facts change. It's true. It's just crime. our first episode. Don't listen to that. My audio sucked. We were nervous. Well, both of our audio sucked. Oh, my yeah. goodness. We don't need to talk. Yeah. No. Yeah. But, yeah. So, anyways, I'm with you on that, keeping Ronald Jones. Uh, I, I'm going to argue for Devontae over Brandon Cooks, though, as far as my trade. Um. Devontae was a stud last year, and he has none of the concussion health concerns that Brandon Cooks has. And I don't really see his volume changing. I mean, yes, they get Preston Williams back, who was leading, I believe, the team in targets before he was injured last season. But I really do foresee another wide receiver two caliber season um, coming for Devontae Parker. I mean, I don't feel like that's, you know, blowing anybody out of the water to say that um uh i guess for our rankings yeah you already touched on it oh you have them right next to each other i do you have Devonte parker at 49 and brennan cooks at 50 i have uh i have Devonte parker at 54th overall so again we're higher on these guys than where they're being drafted right now so and you can get all of our uh overall top 125 rankings at our website the fantasy football um and then I would cut Brandon Cooks, but I, I mean, really, it's just I like him the least out of these three guys. But I think we've talked about him. Um, we've talked about him, I believe, in our second studs or sleepers, sackos and or sleepers, studs and sackos episode. I believe we touched on Brandon Cooks. So. All right. Yeah, I don't I, I don't think you with can go that, wrong with any of these guys where the, where they're currently being no. drafted, um, because we think that the value is actually there on on all three of them for where their draft position is going. Um, but yeah, just in a, in a preference world, that's where I'm at. You're slightly off from that, but yeah, there, there's no doubt that, that Ronald Jones ADP is going to continue to go up. So it's definitely something to monitor, um, over the next month here as we, um, start entering draft season, um, of, of where he's going to make sure that you can get him if, um, if, if he continues to go up. Yep. 